No more tedious PowerPoint presentation making. Instead, use ChatGPT to create not only PowerPoint presentations, but interactive PowerPoint presentations. I have three different methods for you all, so let's try them out. Our first method is to use ChatGPT to create your slide outline and your slide structure. By providing ChatGPT with your topic and key points, it can help you build up the outline for your PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and get into ChatGPT to create that basic structure of your PowerPoint. We recommend using a prompt similar to this one. So I'll put it down in the description below so that you guys can easily copy and paste. You can just paste it in and then adjust as needed for your topic that you wish to cover in your presentation. So once ChatGPT is done generating all of your slides, you guys can take a look and have it expand on any of the topics that you wish it to cover. So all of these look pretty good. So we are going to copy and paste this prompt back in to have ChatGPT expand a little bit more on each one of these topics. Perfect. Now you can go ahead and read through and adjust any of the information that is given. And now we just need ChatGPT to slim this down into an outline format. So we'll lastly go ahead and have ChatGPT put all of these details in a bullet format for our slides. Excellent. Now what all this is, is our PowerPoint slide content. So now we just have to move all this information into PowerPoint. So you can just go ahead and copy and paste all this information slide by slide into your PowerPoint, or we can automate this process using Word. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to use that. So let's go and copy all of these information and our slides into a blank Word document. And don't forget to go back and grab your slide one or slide two, just because those are the intro slides. So ChatGPT didn't really expand on those in the beginning. So we can go ahead add those in up top. And now we just need to edit our formatting. So make sure that you match up the slide title with a heading one. Excellent. Then you guys can go ahead and remove the slide numbers and keep that up for each one of your slide titles. If you guys have any subtitles, you can go ahead and make them a heading two. Excellent. Now we can go ahead and move this into PowerPoint. So to do that, we're going to go into file and export and export as PowerPoint presentation. This is for Windows. If you do have a Mac, it is a little bit different and how to do that is in the description below. If you guys like one of the design themes, you can always choose one here or we can just choose blank and export this as a PowerPoint. Once it's ready, we can open it up and take a look. Now we have all of our slide information into PowerPoint, but you might be thinking this is a little boring and you wouldn't be wrong. However, I have two different ways that you guys can make this a little bit more exciting. First, you can always go ahead and use PowerPoint Designer, PowerPoint's little AI feature that they have to make this a little bit more exciting. However, I do have a way that you can use ChatGPT to make this content more exciting that I'll cover later in the video, so stick around. The second way to make this more exciting is to add interactive quiz questions. So let's go ahead and download this file onto our desktop so that we can open it up within PowerPoint's desktop application. We can easily create interactive quiz questions using OpenAI inside PowerPoint instead of online on the web using ClassPoint. ClassPoint is an interactive teaching add-in, but we're going to be focusing on ClassPoint's AI feature, which analyzes the information on your slide and generates interactive quiz questions based on that information. So once you guys have ClassPoint downloaded and installed, it's free. You can download from classpoint.io, linked up above or down below. First things first, we can go into our presentation mode. From there, click on the slide that you want to have a question based off of. So we can do this one looks good. And then we're just going to click on the class point AI button on the toolbar at the bottom. From there, you guys can customize your options depending on the type of question that you want. So we're going to leave this pretty open and then we can just go ahead and click generate and class point AI will analyze your slide coming up with a question based on that information. If it looks good, you guys can go ahead and save it as a slide. And now you'll be able to use this to get live responses like this from your audience during your presentation. Stick around because later in the video, I'll show you all the other interactive quiz questions that ClassPoint can add. That way you can have a variety of engaging questions throughout your presentation. 
But first, method two. We're going to use ChatGPT to automate that presentation creation process using VBA codes. So we're going to skip all of those steps that we just did, the outline generation, that automating from Word to PowerPoint, and instead use VBA codes to turn code into a PowerPoint presentation. VBA is Microsoft's computer programming language that can be used to automate tasks like this. It's really easy to use, so don't stress. We're going to open up our ChatGPT, and this time we're going to use this prompt. So go ahead and paste that in, and ChatGPT will generate a VBA code for us. Once it's all done, we can go back up to the top, copy this code, and go inside our PowerPoint. So from PowerPoint, we can open up our Developer tab. If you guys don't have this tab, just right-click on your toolbar and your ribbon up here, click Customize Ribbon, and make sure that the Developer tab is checked. Once that's done, we can go ahead and click on the tab and open up our VBA editor. From here, we can go to insert and we're going to insert a module and here is where we can paste all of that code. And now we can just click play and watch PowerPoint populate with our slides. Now you can go ahead and add those simple design techniques using PowerPoint's designer or by adding interactive quiz questions with ClassPoint. So ClassPoint has these eight different quiz question types and usually I like to add a fun little warm up right at the beginning. So for this presentation, let's do a word cloud question. That way we can gauge people's understanding of their knowledge of chocolate and what their favorite chocolate treat is. Now I have one more method for us to cover before before we get into making this a complete presentation with that design stage and adding our images. And that last method to use ChatGPT to create a PowerPoint presentation is with AIPRM. AIPRM is a Chrome extension that's designed and built just for ChatGPT with a whole bunch of ready-made prompts for you to use. So to access AIPRM in ChatGPT, you can just search it up in the Chrome web store and click add to Chrome. Once you do that, it will open up another ChatGPT window for you and you'll be able to see all of these listed and ready-made prompts that you guys can use. To find the one that we're going to be used to create a PowerPoint presentation, up at the top in the search bar, we can just type in PowerPoint and we'll use this first one here. From there, we can go ahead and follow the instructions by adding in our topic, the number of slides, and the VBA. And then we can go ahead and generate and it will generate our VBA code and we can follow the steps that we did in the previous method that you guys can follow to put a VBA code into a PowerPoint presentation. Now finally, let's make these presentations look amazing with ChatGPT. To do that, we need visuals. So we're going to pair ChatGPT with a text to art generator like Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, Bing Image Creator, and so many more tools. The goal is to get ChatGPT to provide us some prompts of images that are going to flow nice and seamlessly into our already made PowerPoint presentation. So to do that, go into the chat that you already have been using for your ChatGPT to create that presentation, and we are going to use use this prompt to have ChatGPT suggest images for each one of those slides for us. So ChatGPT will then go ahead and generate a couple different prompts for us and we can copy and paste these prompts into an AI image generator. So let's go ahead and take a peek and use one of these. This one looks good and we're just going to go ahead and copy it and I'm going to use Bing Image Creator and we can just paste it in to the bar and click create. Then the AI image generator will go ahead and generate some images and once that's done we can go ahead and copy and paste these images and put them back into PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and use this one and from here I'm just going to go ahead and copy it and paste it to the correct slide in our PowerPoint presentation. So I think this one looks good and we can paste it in and then again to add some more tone formatting the layout changing up your powerpoint slides to make it look better we can use a powerpoint's design feature over here you guys can continue doing that for all of your slides copy and pasting those prompts and those images into your presentations and making them all look much nicer and the last step to creating a better powerpoint presentation is along with those interactive quiz questions adding in some gamification into your presentation so you can use classpoint's gamification features like the stars levels and the leaderboard to interact with your audience or you can check out the link up here to add different games into your PowerPoint presentation. And lastly, if you want to use AI in any other parts of your presenting experience, first subscribe to the ClassPoint channel and then go ahead and take a look at this video.